Hey guys, Fabuliki here today, and we are going to be looking at the XOR gate, or as it's known, the exclusive OR gate. Now, right in front of me here, we've got a regular OR gate, which we have learnt before. And if I pull this lever, so we have two inputs, obviously. If I pull one of them, our light will turn on. And if I pull the other one, the light will turn on. So it's one or the other. And we can also have both on as well. If we have both inputs on, the light will be on. So you can use either lever to turn the light on. But if one of the levers is on, like it is now, we can't use the other lever. It's not going to do anything. And that's where the exclusive OR gate comes in. It allows us to activate our light with either lever, no matter what. And I'll explain to you the uses of this a little further down the line. So if we come over here and now look at our exclusive OR, it looks a bit more complicated than our OR gate, but it's actually pretty easy. So we have two inputs, they're both off right now. If I use this one and turn it on, our light will come on. And if I turn on the other one, our light will come on. But now you can see this one is still on, uh, but if we start using the other lever, our light will actually turn off and it'll turn on. And we can do the same with the other one. So this one's on, and we turn it off. And you'll see our light is still fully controllable even when both are on. Because the exclusive OR, when both inputs are on, the output is off. So you can only have one or the other activating the light. And that means that when we deactivate one of the levers, there's only one left, so the light turns on. And when we reactivate it, there's two on, so it turns off. And the same with the other lever. And that means that you can use two levers in completely different locations to activate the same redstone circuit. Uh, and now we'll get into the building of this. Right, so we're going to start by just building the uh, structure out of our wall. So first we're going to place three blocks across, one at the back here, one on top of that, and we can even place a few more if we want right now, or we can just leave it like, actually we'll leave it like this. And now we need to place it in our half slabs, because we're using half slabs to sort of cut the signal in the places we need to. And to be able to do that, we're going to dig down uh, one block around like this in a little kind of U shape. You can dig down here as well to make it easier because we need to place the half slabs on the tops of these blocks here. And to do that, we're going to place a block above in those three locations. So it looks something like that. Now we just go underneath and place a half slab on each of those blocks and we can now remove those. And now what we're going to do, we're just going to replace the grass because we don't need that hole there. And we have our inputs. One is going to be coming here. The other one is going to be here. The, we then just place redstone on each of the half slabs like this. Uh, we then place a block on top of each of those right there. And we have the redstone coming out the back. We put a torch on the front here and two down the back here. And then we just join this up with redstone. And then these two join up like this and come become our output. So now if we go put down a lever on both of the inputs here and activate one, you see the light turns on, activate the other one, you see the light turns off. And we can do the same with this lever and that one, and it works as an exclusive OR. And this is a pretty uh, compact design compared to previous ones because we can now use half slabs for redstone and it makes cutting the signal up slightly easier than it would be before. Um, so anyways guys, that is exclusive OR. And like I said, you can use it to open sort of doors from different places, but we'll be doing that in the next episode. I'll show you how you can make a, like a secret door, have a lever on the outside, a lever on the inside to both open it. Um, of course, this can also be done actually with a T flip-flop as well, which we've done in a previous episode. But this is a slightly more elegant solution and that doesn't require that much redstone. So guys, I'll see you in the next episode and thanks for watching.